Okay, folks, so I'm back ready to further edit my medieval song. I'm going to double click once again so I can see the piano roll view. Remember, if it's a little small, you can use the plus button, a bit too big, the minus. Um, I think that's just about right for me. Now we're going to look at harmony for this particular video. And harmony in medieval times was really very basic, often using intervals of a fourth or fifth in parallel motion. That means the rhythm is the same and the notes are simply either a fourth or fifth higher than the melody notes. The easiest way to describe that is actually by doing. So I'm going to go to my pencil over here. I'm going to carefully count up. So that's G. What would be five notes higher than G? Well, G, A, B, C, D. And that is the correct answer. And then A would be an E up there. Oops, just a mistake to pull it down. And then we've got the B. Now, this is a little bit of an interesting one because you might think, OK, it should be B, C, D, E, F. But actually, because these intervals are what we call a perfect fifth, if you count the actual blocks, let's count the empty blocks between the two notes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. So that's interesting. It's got six empty blocks. Let's try six empty blocks up from this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then put the note in. So that's, ah, that's actually what we call a G flat or an F sharp. You can see the interval is the same. Be careful with that one. So when you get to the B, that's the one that could be a little bit quirky. And we're back to the G again. So that's going to be a D. And then we've got an A, which goes to an E. F down there, which is going to go to a C. And then we've got a G, which will go to a D. And you can see that automatically it's put the correct rhythm in for me. So it's created that as a minimum as it should. Let's now hear that with the organum harmony. So we call it organum fifth harmony. Now your job will be to continue that on. So for example, the next note here is a D, and five notes up from a D would be an A, which is there. Okay, and then another A, and I'll do just one more, another E. So E would go to B. Oops, that's not a B. Let's just move that down. So easy to change and uh, just correct that. And again, if you make a mistake, you can just delete it. Not an issue. You go back to the pointer, click on any note you wish. You want to make a change and press delete if you want to delete. OK, I think that's where we are. So the one to look out for, as I said, is every time you get in the melody a B, you actually want to go to a G flat, otherwise known as F sharp. Let's just have a little playback of that. Just to show you the difference, if I pull that to an F, and what we've got then is that an interval there that's not a uh, fifth, it's actually an augmented fourth. So that's going to sound a little bit strange. So let's have a play. So let's see, that sounds a little bit odd, uh, and the interval is not the same as that perfect fifth interval there. So I'm going to put that back to where it should be. OK, folks, that's my challenge for you from your original edit. Your next task is to create your harmony part. Good luck.